Welcome to our video to take into operation the new ETS board that is needed for Provinet certification. To take the ETS board into operation you need three cables with 10 meter lengths and some random Ethernet cable to attach the power supply. You need uh, the ETS board from TI. You need to buy a power supply with 24 volts and 1.5 amps and you need the Anel power supply that we also needed for the old test setup and additionally you again need some PC or laptop with Windows. Now that the cabling is done, we have to install the automated RT tester. You can download the latest bundle from the Profibus webpage in the section Download, Software and Tools. On the page Profinet Test Bundle, we will always find the latest bundle available for download. We already downloaded the zip file here. We unpacked the zip file and you will find in the P and Test section the zip file with the automated RT tester. We also unzip this and here you will find the setup for the automated RT tester. We start the installation process. We have to follow through with the license agreements. Now that the installation is finished, we will find here the link to the newest installer of the automated RT tester. Our next step here would be to flash the image of the ETS board that was installed with the newest automated RT tester. To flash the image onto the SD card, we recommend Baldena Etcher that is a free available tool. To do this, use flash from file and go over C program automated RT tester to ETS firmware, where you can find the image that belongs to the currently installed automated RT tester. Then you have to select the SD card that you want the image to be flashed on and start the flash. After the validation is finished, you can remove the SD card and use it on your ETS board. After you flash the image to the SD card, you need to add it to the ETS board. Please do this before you power on the board. After that, attach the power supply to the board and powering on. We are doing this now to skip a wait time of 2 to 3 minutes that the board needs to power on. Now we use the shortened Ethernet cable to attach the Anel power supply to the PC. We use one of the 10 meter cables to attach the PC. to the single Ethernet port of the ETS board. And we use a second 10 meter cable to attach port 1 of the device to the lower port 1 of the ETS board. And now we use the last 10 meter cable to attach port 2 of the device to port 2 of the ETS board.
after that, we need to plug in the device under test into port 3 of the Anel power supply to give the device power and to make it able for us to turn off the power of the device. Now, after all the cabling is done, the automated RT tester is installed. The newest image is flashed on an SD card, added to the ETS hardware, and the ETS hardware is booted. We can start the automated RT tester. We open up a project and wait for the project to load. How to generate a new project will be part of a different video. On the top of the automated RT tester, we now see a green checkbox that indicates that the ETS board is ready for testing. We here select a test case that is short for this video, press play and wait for the test case to finish. A passing test case is a good end for this video. I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.